It looks great. There's only one question I have, yeah. and that's can the number can the number be named by a person, or does it have to be named by the phone? That's the only because the only the only variable that I could see there at all is that by asking you know name any playing card from one fifty two is like a is a primed line that would give me an answer. Yeah. Like a, give me any give me any number. For, that's the only variable that would be that exists there. But I love that idea of using that so, the, so let me tell you something let me tell you something i'm wrong go for it the phone has nothing to do with it that's the only variable i could see in play there i absolutely have no idea like I, i'm gonna show you the method because I'm, I'm i'm literally I'm, <laughs> that's ridiculous <laughs> isn't that crazy that's ridiculous wow yeah yeah i i went down the same rabbit hole as you i just thought it was an app that's one of the craziest methods i've ever seen for that trick ever yeah it's but crazy peter turner is world famous for having the best any card any number that gets performed on magicians it's so good that most magicians believe that he stooges other people until he does it on them so with that in mind, I was shown an any card, any number. In the private Society of Secrets Discord, I ran a competition to create a brand new method for an existing trick. Kevin Ost, one of the members of the Society of Secrets, came up with and created and filmed a performance of an any card, any number. And I seen it and instantly I thought I knew what the method was. So I straight up asked him, is this the method? And he told me no. And I just didn't believe him. So. He showed me the method. He, in fact, he showed everybody in the Society of Secrets the method. And holy <laughs> was I wrong. He was completely telling the truth. I was so far off on the method that it roundhouse kicked me in the face. So I decided to see if it would fool Peter Turner too. And it did. So I recorded that happening. I showed Pete the performance. I asked him what he thought the method was. And then I showed him the explanation just to see his surprise. I also did it with Craig Petty too, because as you know, Craig Petty created the Quantum Deck, a super unique and creative approach to the any card any number two. I wanted to see how he fared while watching the same effect. The results are awesome, and I just wanted to share their reactions with you today. Out of respect for Kevin and his method, these recordings have been slightly edited down just to cut out any of the parts that would expose the method here publicly on YouTube. However, if you are a member of the Society of Secrets and you're watching this right now, then already in the Patreon page are the full, uncut, unedited recordings with Craig and Pete. And in there you'll see the full method, the full explanation to the effect, and the jam sessions that me and Pete and me and Craig have afterwards where we talk about how we would do this ACAN our own ways. All right, Pete, I'm going to show you the first any card, any number that, that like in my core, in my guts, fooled me. Um, and it's not by me. It's not by anyone that we know. It's a guy called Kevin Ost. Um, I'm going to show you the performance, ask you some questions about it, and then I want to see what you think of the method. All right. You good at this? All right, let's go. Yeah, go for it. Any card at any number. Deck of cards. The key to making this work is cutting the cards to precise some right spot. We'll go with that. Hey Google, say any playing card. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. This could genuinely be any card. Uh, if you were here, you would say the card that you want. Um, we're gonna go with the eight of hearts. Hey Google, say any playing card between one and fifty. Sorry, say any number between one and fifty-two. Here's a result from the web. Hey Google. Hey. Say any number between one and fifty-two. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. If you want one more, then a ten of hearts. Moment of truth. Eight of hearts. So, thoughts? Really cool. Really, really cool. It looks great. There's only one question that out. Yeah. And that's, can the number can the number be named by a person or does it have to be named by the phone? That's the only because the only the only variable that I could see there at all is that by asking, you know, name any playing card from 152 is like a is a primed line that would give me an answer. Yeah. Like a, give me any give me any number. For, that's the only variable that would be that exists there. But I love the idea of using that. So, the, so let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm wrong. Go for it. The phone has nothing to do with it. That's the only variable I could see in play there. Like the effect is such a great effect. The the way that it's presented is really nice. If the phone doesn't have to be involved in it, then I absolutely have no idea. Like I, I'm going to show you the method because I'm 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 literally I'm, I, I when I see it I got fooled. I I I was even further away than you. But when I see the method, I'll just say this: like it isn't going to be the one that you do at the bar every week. But okay. This we're doing a creativity contest. Who could come up with the most creative method? I'm going to show you the method right now. Go for it. <laughs> it's great. It's really, really cool. Like it's really, really cool. The like it's everybody thinks when they watch something like this that oh, you know, like it, it can't be used in the real world. And I've said it a hundred times. Like th these are the best kinds of effects because they're the effects that they'll fool practically everybody when the time's right so like for a situation like this a creativity contest they're absolutely perfect you, you could do the holy grail of card magic so instead of making it in any card at any number you could literally put put one card face down on the table before you ever began he doesn't get much more powerful than that you know what i like is that he's genuinely doing what he did in the first video there's no bs in that it's great it's a really lovely really lovely thing um my, my mind didn't even go to neither did mine at all i think that's why i was so excited by it because nine times out of ten that method i would go oh that's the method but it was really imaginative and, and smart the just really creative way of doing it and beautiful really, it really got my nice. head racing like kevin if you're watching this kudos it's like a really great effect it's beautiful i love it when something like this is presented to the to the mentors and magic world because already i've got ideas that are I'm thinking about that I I'd use this for certain things. I mean, maybe not for myself, but if I were working as a consultation or doing a consultation, it's good for me to to have that because who knows, maybe I'd get a call one day that I need something like this and Kevin would be the first person that I'd call. It's great. Really, really lovely. And thank you for sharing it. <laughs> I was just too excited. And it was like, really oh, cool. yeah. Well, you're really in, you're in you're in you're in the Discord now. So you're gonna you're gonna um, see some of the other stuff in there and uh I can't wait. I can't wait to see what everybody's doing. It's been such a long time since I've got to jam with people. Well, thanks for watching, Pete. Um, yeah, no, I'll chat you I'd love to, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to hang out in the Discord and see some more of this stuff. Yeah, there's loads, man. There's so, there's so much stuff in there. Um, it's gonna blow you away. But I'll, I'll chat to you soon. I'll probably chat to you tomorrow, man. Right. We'll talk soon. <laughs> I'll stop sharing there for a second. Okay. Thoughts? What? what... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very clean. It's very, very clean. Very I mean, that's clean. almost Burglass effect style clean. Mm -hmm. So you want me to try and figure out a method? <clears throat> yeah. The first thing that pops into my mind is there's some sort of fake Google on the phone that names a, a pre-made card and number because... It felt like that thing where he got the name, where he got the thing wrong in the middle was a convincer. Um, it felt like, you know, it, I don't know if it is, maybe I'm reading into it, but like, it's like, name and because as magicians, we're accustomed to 
having demonstrations like this done by having Siri or Google name something random. Mm. So, you know, if you could get Google to to name a pre-recorded card, maybe the remote control or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, because the mistake that you made in the middle, that's felt like almost like a convincer. It's like, this is what I found on the web. I don't know. Uh, that's my first. You're wrong. Point. You're so wrong because I had the exact same idea. I thought it was an app. Uh, okay. Turns out that um, the phone has nothing. It could be, it could literally have been me or you right there. Okay. okay. And we could have said any card, any number. So now I'm going to show you the method. Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I I went down the same rabbit hole as you. I just thought it was an app. That's one of the craziest methods I've ever seen for that trick ever. Yeah. It's but crazy. crazy. It's crazy. Like, you're not going to do it all the time. It's not going to be something that you do all the time, but man, that's... I mean, the thing for me was we set up a creativity contest for gimmicks. So every week is a different theme, but everyone had to come up with the craziest gimmick. And it was just a challenge to see who could push the boundaries of creativity. So we weren't trying to create the best version or variation of any effect but everyone was just trying to push themselves to just create something out there. And I mean, he wasn't even the winner. He was, the, there was another winner as well. There was two winners, but that just shows like a, a method. It's kind of reminds me of you with the quantum deck. It's why I wanted you on this call. You took an age old principle that has been looked at from 360 degrees, upside down, left, right, back to front. And you still found a way to crack the code and use it in a unique way. And that's what Kevin did with that. With yeah, that. It's, it's incredible. He should be commended. It's a really, really, you know what? He could do that in a close-up competition yeah. at a magic convention. Like when you and I went to watch the London Magic Convention, he could do that in that environment really easily. And he would mess up every magician in that room. Yeah, like He would mess them up. Magical content through the roof. Done. Next. Yeah. It's insane. I just, I just, I was, you know me, I'm like you, man. When I see good magic or crazy ideas that are, that are exciting, I, I need to share. Like I, I like if I come up with something or you come up with something, we're on the phone with each other or we're phoning people like, you've got to see this new thing. And I just thought, oh, this is too, I ask, I obviously, I ask Kevin, could I, could I show some of my, like my mates? Um, and see the reaction to it. And he said, yes. And uh, yeah, it's just, oh, it's too good not to show. Kevin, that's freaking ridiculously good. It's really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> really clever. Thing. But I think I would have, my brain doesn't work that way, Lloyd. I couldn't have thought of that method in a million years. Not in a million years. You could put me in a room, in a dark room, with everything that I need to create that trick, and I would never create it ever. I think maybe if you were under under pressure, you could. But for me, I think it's one of those ideas where I'd go, it would be crazy. It would be crazy to do it this way, but nobody will actually ever do it. But if they did, it would be the best. And he f did. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You can make a reputation for yourself out of a trick like that, that you're just doing it at certain places at a certain time. Well... That's what Pete Turner's done. Pete Turner, people like talk to each other in hushed whispers about Pete's any card at any number. It's like, yeah. is it real? Is it real? Does it really have? Can he really do that? You get the same sort of thing with this. Yeah, I remember the first, everyone had told me about Pete's A card and they said, yeah, it's great, but he uses a stooge. So the first, second time I met him, because I hadn't seen it the first time, the second time I met him was at a Darren Brown secret bloody lecture or something in london in the crypt on the green and pete was in the audience as well and afterwards he started performing to people and he started doing his a can 
and he was like so somebody named a card so i was like oh, i'm gonna do it because i think it's in my head i'm like it's stooged so now is now is the time to screw him over and then he performed it on me like perfectly three three phases of it and uh yeah very quickly figured out it wasn't stooge <laughs> but it was the same as this when i watched this acan i thought it was the phone it's like oh right it's the phone and then kevin was like nope no nope. i didn't believe if i actually sat down and watched the explanation wow that's really clever thinking that's brilliant yeah. brilliant 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 if you'd like to see the method fully explained, fully exposed for this any card at any number, and you want to watch the full reaction video from Craig and Pete, then head over to patreon.com forward slash Lloyd B. Kevin Oss has given full permission for me to show everybody the full explanation to his any card at any number in there. But if you don't want to watch it, that's absolutely fine because I think it's quite inspiring just to look at a performance like that, look at how we're reacting, look at the questions that we ask and think, well, I don't know how he does it, but this is the way that I would approach doing it. And then try and come up with your own ways of thinking and approaching that plot. So with that being said, I'll be back next Tuesday for another Tutorial Tuesday. And if I don't see you beforehand, have an amazing Christmas. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Peace.